Louisville Mail is taking on DuPont Manual for this week's HS Game Time Game of the Week. That's right. Mail has the better record, but Manual has home field advantage. WHS 11 Sports Director Kent Spencer is live at Manual to tell us what to expect from tonight's game. Kent, take it away. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, this is the old rivalry and it's also the featured rivalry in the Great American Rivalry Series. I'm joined now by Rick Ford, who is with the Great American Rivalry Series. And Rick, just tell me about your organization a little bit. Well, we've, we've started a series to highlight high school football games all over the country. And as you might imagine, there's a lot of big ones. It's not a bad job. But what we've done is we, we go from state to state. We've been to 42 different states and over 800 games. And we feature the best games we can find in that particular season. The interesting part is the Great American Rivalry Series has always come to this game. And let's just talk about some of the other games that you've sure. been within our area just this season alone. I mean, we do have some big time rivalries here in the city we, of Louisville. We went out to the Butler PRP game. Good game really went down to the last play of the game and, and was a big time crowd uh, that continued to grow throughout the night. Uh, we've been to Paducah Tillman Mayfield. Uh, we've been to St. X Trinity, which is a pretty good sized game. Yeah. And uh, we've had good football at every one of them, so it's been fun to watch. Now, this particular game holds a special play to place in Rick's heart because this is the 136th meeting between the two schools. We talk about the old rivalry, but you, my friend, participated in this very game in 1969. Yeah, I'm glad you clarified that because I was not here for the first one. <laughs> but. Yes, I played in 1969, but in 69 we played it at the fairgrounds, and you had somewhere between 14 and 15,000 people on Thanksgiving Day. So there was a lot of, you know, talking going all week long, and the turkey always tasted better if you won. And, and let me tell you something, there's still a lot of talking going all week long. What position did you play for Manuel in 1969? And you guys won that game, am I right? We did win that game, a two touchdown underdog, by the way. I played linebacker, and I had a really good day. You had a really good game. A translation, Rick brought the wood when he was playing linebacker. What do you think about your school, your team tonight? How much does this game mean for these two schools? Well, it's funny you should ask that. This game, I, we, we use this as a way of setting up every great American rivalry, and that is it really doesn't matter about records in games like this. You come into this game with the hopes of winning, and if you win, regardless of how your season turns out, this is going to be a great season. So it's the most important game. I'll tell you, uh, you know, and I think probably, and I, it's hard for me to say this, but they're, they're, they're saying that Mayo may be a little smidge better this year, but I don't think that makes any difference to the guys on Manuel's team. They still think they can win, and I know they'll come out here and give it everything they got. They didn't think we would win either, and we did. It's the old cliche. you got to throw the records out of the yep. books when it comes to these two teams. The winner of tonight's game gets this amazing trophy. They also get these hats right here from the Great American Rivalry Series. Rick, thank you so much for your Thanks time. For I appreciate yeah. appreciate everything you guys do. You're watching HS Game Time Live, delivered by PapaJohns.com.